the bulkheads are watertight because these babies are about to take a bath. Flooding the dry dock will allow them to float the segments out to sea. The inundation of the dock takes approximately 48 hours. During the first phase, we let in water until it reaches the level of the bulkhead door. Then we'll check to see if the bulkheads are leaking. Once all the leaks are repaired, or if there are no leaks, we'll fill up the dock completely. So how do you prep 48,000 tons of dead weight to float? Inside every tunnel segment, there are six ballast tanks, and they're filled with water. Ben, all the clippers are open, so for me, I the pump on. To start the flotation process, we begin pumping out the water. We continue until the tunnel segment starts floating. First, a rite of passage for a new member of the team. Oh, oh. <laughs> So what the tugboat has to do is to tow the dead slow, then with the other winches at the back side we control the turn element in a sideways direction. Now they can begin to warp out the segment. Removing the first segment takes brawn and finesse to avoid colliding with the dry dock. With barely two meters on each side, there's no room for error. Okay, Maurice, we're standing. We're going to go We're going to so we can go All the boats are busy. Yeah. Believe it or not. Clearing the dry dock was the easy part. Working outward, steel segments are laid on each side of the pylon to keep the bridge in balance. Then two cables are attached to brace the segments. Once they've done that, the derrick crane then lifts up six precast concrete panels and places them onto the steel frame. Then put a final post tensioning into the cables. And we're ready then to start the whole thing over again. Dev mantas, named for their fish-like shape. They're designed to dig in where other anchors lose their grip. Like the entire fixed link project, this stage takes precision. GPS coordinates to drop the anchors and a sixth sense to set them. The current moves us towards it. We're still 20 meters from target. If all goes well, you'll see slack in the wire and then the anchors at the bottom. That's now. Two engine full ahead. So now we're going to dig the anchor in the soil with full power 